Hello and welcome back to Wada. My name is Beast today with you on my. I don't know how long I'll be recording today. I do want to go to bed early today because <laughs> I actually have an interview tomorrow. Now, sadly, this is not an interview for an apprenticeship. It is just an interview for a small part-time gig, which, quite frankly, is more of a formality than actual interview. From based on what I've heard. And it's basically just, it's just part-time gig. It's just a part-time gig. Every now and again, when the supermarket, uh, uh, when our local supermarket gets a new, uh, get, gets a new, uh, talking is hard. I say fucking shipment, even if it's not the right fucking word. Gets the new stuff. New inventory. Uh, I'll basically be helping them empty out the fucking thing and sort it out. That'll be just like a tiny little part-time gig so I can make at least a little bit of money, you know. <clears throat> well, still looking for an actual apprenticeship, so yeah, that's that. Anyways, let's just let's just get into it. Hopefully, I, hopefully I won't be kept here for too long this time again because Mia's too ador too adorable. Uh, I look outside the window that night and I see Fina seeing off a car from the embassy. <laughs> Seems she wanted it. went to the embassy again before I noticed. では、フィーナ様。よろしくお願いします。ええ。分かっています。結局お忙しくなってしまって。申し訳ございません。彼が悪いわけじゃないわ。Work again. Karen gets in the car and heads home. Mata, Koyo de Tode Sirukotoninatano. Ko to Zukto, Tai Hendes, ne? Shkatanaiwa. Mata Mika no Yoteo. Mia wa Konkai Monegai, ne? Hi. Mia looks my way after responding. I know, take care of the check, right? Relax, you can rely on me. Sumimasen, Tatsuya san. Demo, Oni chan. Saro saro taberen janai? Hane mo hai saro te kita shi. Maybe. Saikin wa kago no soto ni deta sou ni shite masu. Kago o kuchibashi de tsutsui tari shite ren desu. Now it's a little late. Let's give the chicken name, Mia. So da ne. Oh, kangai ta koto mo arimasen deshita. Sore nara. あしたからフィーナ様のお供で出かけている間の宿題にしたらどうかしら。宿題？Leaving it a name is Mia's role indeed. <laughs> 楽しみだね。頑張りなさいよ、Mia. <laughs> the next day, early in the morning, the two of them are greeted by Cotton, who and they depart by car. Mia was worried about her homework right up until they left. We had a party at Chatoya Salmon's last night to celebrate Mai's birthday. Our lingering memories of it still remain in the morning. I hear the sound of a car stopping in front of the house. Everyone welcomes the two of them in the living room. お疲れ様でした。お疲れ様。今お茶入れるね。あの、私がやります。帰ってきたばかりなんだから、ソファーで休んでてよ。あら、ミヤちゃん。そういえば宿題があったと思うんだけど、どう？え、ちゃんとでき
Ah, yes. It it's、uh, the chick. Hi. いい名前だと思うわ。可愛いし。Yeah, I think it's a nice name too. ではこれで決まりね。Venus claps me on the back. Hi. それでチコは変わりないの、達也。Actually, な何ですか Actually, it looks like he can almost fly. えー、すごいです<笑>もう達也、びっくりさせないで。早く見せてくださいよ。Bring the bird cage to the living room. 飛べそうというのは See, it's flapping between those two perches. 動きませんねみんなで見てるから緊張してるのよきっとでもこのカゴに入れたままで飛べるようになるのかな、is. でもカゴの外に出すと家中踏んだらけになってしまいます庭ではダメなのかしら困ったわねあっシコがカゴを噛んでますきっと外に出たいんだよそう見えるわね Slightly heavy atmosphere hangs in the air Was then わかりましたチコはうちの中を自由に飛んでいいことにしましょうか And since says that without hesitation Are you sure? そうがでも飛べないのはかわいそうよちゃんと掃除すれば大丈夫じゃないミヤどうかしらあのそれでしたら最初は試しに私の部屋でだけということでどうでしょうかそれで大丈夫そうだったら家の中で飛んでもらおうね、sure、はいわかりましたでは開けますよ OK、oh, you can actually see the bird cage back there <clears throat> Everyone wants to watch, but there'll be no room left for Chico to fly if all five of us gather in the attic. Well, there are some complaints. Me and I will be the first ones to witness Chico flying. <coughs> He's not coming out. <coughs> Is he afraid, do you think? Maybe he can't fly out. <coughs> Let's give it a try. We open the cage and place some seeds in the food box outside. Yeah. Let's place the water there. But this, the things Chico can eat are gone from the cage. Let's be patient. There's, not, there's no sign of Chico moving. What if the bottom of the cage comes out? The bottom portion of the cage comes off neatly. Chico can set the sends down to the floor from his perch. After looking at us restlessly, it hops towards the feed box. Well, he came out of the cage for now. Chico hops away when I try to hold him. He flaps his wings at times, but shows no signs of flying. Maybe he can't fly yet. Sure. After some effort, Chico returns to the cage. We try to review. Chico doesn't have any parents. We'll have to do it. We can't fly either, though? Can we even set an example? So, this is. I knew it'd come to this. Alright, let's do it. You do it first, man. I see you've been closer to Chica this whole time. Like a stepmother. Chico listens to what you say the most, so you have to start off. I understand. But I haven't done anything to the dog, so I won't cry. Sure, I won't. Pata pata pata! Pata pata pata! 
Mia makes slapping noises while running around from one end of the narrow room to the other. I frantically try to resist laughing. Pata pata! Pata pata! Do... Do deshita ka? He's staring at you, but uh... He's either studying or amuse amusing itself by watching a widow, I can't tell. I really have to do it too. After being urged by Mia, I try to flap too. Will this have any, will this have any effect? Chica watches me as I move my arms and flap a little. Flap, 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 flap. Am I doing okay? Flap, flap. Flap, flap. Flap, flap. Right, I'm up next. Flap, flap. I'm going to stab somebody! Before I realized everyone had come to cheer us for us. Me and I took tur take turns flapping around. Chico also moves his wings and hops and jumps around. It would be nice if he flew though. Chico uses his time to continue practicing. It hops up and down at first, but then gradually, start gradually starts flying at low altitudes. Now he's able to jump up onto anything in the room. <laughs> Chico's pleased with Mia's shoulders. It jumps up, jumps on Mia's shoulders to begin with, and then flies again after that. He does it again and quickly improves at flapping. It rides on my shoulder the next time I go to Mia's room. Chico is surprisingly friendly. And it's like Chico's bedroom is in there. So <laughs> He started by he started to eat by himself too. Before he knew it, Chico improved at flying so quickly he could stay up in the air no problem. Because he's getting closer to leaving the nest. I can totally see them just like. You totally see it happening that they like try to release Chico, and the next day they like try to leave for school, and he just like casually flies back inside. Like, I'm going to bed! Took you long enough to fucking open the door! <laughs> no. Also, this soundtrack just really reminds me of Hatsumira for some reason. Yeah, certainly do. Chico was flying about freely inside Mia's room. He's showing keen interest in the world outside the window. Maybe it's about time for him to leave the rent nest. Yeah, can't be forced by anyone either. Chico must decide by himself, for himself. ご自分で飛び立たれる日が来るんでしょうね。うん。いえ、何でもありません。ね、カツアフモノロックコンプリートリー。砂地はどこにしましょうか。やっぱり自然の多そうなモノミノオカ公園ですか。いや、だれ<
flaps his wings a few times and heads over to if times and heads over to the seeds. Chick is a little cautious at first, but after a while he starts to eat with the other birds. Yeah, and I stare at the scene for a while. Can't tell which one is Chica when they're this far away. Go on, Mia. So, so this ne? Mia sounded a little teary. Gently pat her head a few times. That's well, for the best. For Chico as well. <laughs> Mia forces out a smile. Yeah. But it's because you found him by the shopping district. Chico definitely wouldn't be here if you hadn't picked him up. That's why. Let's celebrate Chico leaving the nest. Beads of tears flow out from her eyelids as she speaks. Mia. Mia looks lovely like that. So I embrace her head. Mia's head is small than I thought, and her shoulders are thin. Her slender shoulders tremble for a while, and she continues to cry silently. Cried my eyes out too when my fir when the first dog I raised died. The only thing to do at times like this is to cry. Lend me in my chest until she's dry until she's cried enough. Mia shows an unusual sense of responsibility for Fina's sake sometimes, and she tries her hardest when it comes for her, to her own work. But the same Mia is now crying inside my arms. I'd probably say that Mia right now is more appropriate for her age, which means usual Mia is definitely trying as hard as she can up to and beyond her limit. She's been living in the Lunar Kingdom up until now, the Royal Palace even. She wouldn't be Fina's maid right now if she didn't work herself to death. Of course, Mia doesn't seem to think anything of her endeavors. However, isn't it fine if Mia lets out her honest emotions like this sometimes? That's what I think. And also, she's a little happy that I'm able to be here when she did. Want to help, Mia? It's alright if her smile becomes a teary face sometimes, as long as she's honest with herself. She continues to rub Mia's back gently and so slowly. After a full ten minutes had passed, Mia finally lifts her face up. <laughs> It's fine. I'm the one who, uh, embraced you, so. <sighs> Recall the posture we were just in, we, we were in just now. It would have looked like we'd embraced each other from an outside point of view. We're in the park amongst the bushes, and there's no one around. Did Mia recall the scene, too? She blushes and curls up. Well, let's go home. Yeah. Being woken up early in the morning by Chico demanding food. A faint sensation of Chico riding on my shoulder. Me and I follow the road home while recalling those memories. Mia's flushed face remains that way the whole time. Mom! Me and I carry the empty bird, uh, bird cage into the house. We don't need this anymore. What? Nansan slowly walks over here, and she points at her own, sh at her own shoulders. This is... まどから自分で出て行ったり、また戻ってきたり。この家全部が巣だと思ってるみたい。さっきから誰かの頭や肩にずっと止まってるの。カゴがないから自分の場所を探してるんだと思うんだけど。Let's start opening the cage. Eh, the cage and flap flap. Chico flies back inside the cage by himself. An uncontainable happiness appears on Mia's face as she says that. Everyone watches over Mia and Chico warmly.
We've stopped giving Chico any food and water for now. He goes in and out of the house as he pleases, so he should be able to find his own food now. His cage was kept in Mia's room. He used the window, the round window as his door to the outside. So he still loves riding on our shoulders. So this is Chico hops from our shoulder from my shoulder to my head. Well, you're right. But I wonder if it's all right for him to be this friendly with us. Flap rustle. Chico leaves through the window as if he'd understood me as words. And does it make you sad that he don't have to take care of Chico anymore? <laughs> There's currently no food or water inside the birdcage. That's one way to think about it. Mia smiles brightly. When I see Mia like that, I suddenly remember something. I just tighten as I think about it. Mia will eventually have to leave this house as well. Mia will disappear in front of me, won't she? If I think about it, I get the feeling I won't, you won't see each other again. Uh, nah, it's nothing. I'll head back to my room. Mia yeah, will return to the moon. That's a fact. Something so obvious is agitating me, and I have no idea why. What's wrong with me? Feels like something stuck in my throat. Stretch out of my bed. Mia is Fina's personal attendant. Fina is a princess from the Lunar Kingdom. It's obvious that Fina will return to the moon, there's no doubt about it. Fina, uh, Mia, well, will definitely return to the moon with Fina. No matter how much I think about it, nothing can be done about it. Most definitely not. Ah! I'm gonna come out of feeling depressed. It's still time until my shift at Salmon's. I'll work up a sweat by walking the Italians and then take a shower. Feel kind of refreshed if I do that. However, Mia yeah, gets there before me. Good timing. Uh, there's something I want to ask you. If you have the time, I'd like to walk the dogs with you. Hi. あれ、みおちゃんか。健康的な足だね。バカなこと言ってるんじゃないよ。犬の散歩だね。気をつけるんだよ。はい、ありがとうございます。As <笑><笑> usual me is a, is a celebrity in the shopping district. Realize how important each day we spend together is when I recall how nervous she was when she first came here. No, it's only been a few months. Hey, Mia. Say something to Mia. But I don't know what I want to ask. Ah, so yeah, uh, about that. Or my head around. Trying to form a question. Trying to form a question. Can't be direct, but it also can't be close to what I actually want to ask. How long is Fina going to stay here? Me Mia tilts her head a little. It's not that she doesn't know. I'm sure she's pondering over whether she can tell me or not. まだ正式には決まっていないらしいのですが、今月いっぱいくらいになりそうだとおっしゃってました。非公式のレセプションが予想以上に多いみたいですよ。その他にも。the latter half doesn't reach my ears. One more month. Three weeks remaining. Then Fina will return to the moon. I'm going back with her, Mia. But I don't ask her that. There's no need to. <coughs> Release the three dogs like I usually do. You can blow a whistle, but they usually... But usually they all come back when I call for them one, 
uh, for one of them. I'll do it when we head back, so just watch. I'm sure you can after a bit of practice. After a bit of practice, I'm sure Mia will walk the Italians, uh, Italians many more times, many, many times more. And if she gets the dogs together here today, she won't be using that skill after the next three weeks. I realize that I'm still feeling down. What on earth is depressing me? I mean, can you travel to and from Earth? Say it as much. You should know that travel between the moon and Earth isn't that easy. But I wanted to ask me of that for some reason. いつになるかは分かりませんし、その時に私が音もに必ず選ばれるとも限らないです。うん。うん、could then you'll have to spend the next two or three weeks on a way you won't regret. え、そうですね。チコがちゃんと巣立ちして欲しいし、イタリアンズを呼び集める方法も覚えたいし、それに家の中にまだ何箇所か掃除しきれてないところもあるんです。オーブンの中に2階のベランダ、あとは下駄
Mia isn't at the house when I returned a short while later. Head out to work right after. Mia looks gloomy all the way through dinner after Salmon's, uh, Salmon's closes. That has to be because of what I told her at the park. I didn't expect my words to have such a big impact on her. The, like, we, we heard something about uh, her mother get, having given her a task. What if the task was actually just like, listen up, listen up. If you find someone you like on Earth, fucking go for it. Try to try, try to make make them agree to come to to the moon with you. Like first off, we'll have the next generation of royal retainers. And what what once Fina has a kid, and secondly, we'll have a we'll have an Earthling on the moon, which is sure to uh, which is sure to like improve our relations with the with the Earth somehow. <laughs> I didn't expect the worst to have such a big impact on her. It's a little moist. Just, I should say, it would have been great with iced tea. Jin seems to be noting it down on the notepad. Notebook. デザートの話でしたっけ今日はみやちゃんずっとそんな感じだね心ここにあらず上の空女心と秋の空最後はおかしいんじゃないジン君そうごめんなさい失礼しますみや runs off with her arms flailing around Later that night, Fina calls out to me after my shower while I was drinking cold Bali tea. That's ya. Now I'm just half the fucking... One of the, uh, Daitoshikon OSTs stuck in my head. Uh, Green Barley Road. Let me just... I still think that this game's music will, has been extremely unremarkable, quite frankly, because there's been like no single soundtrack was like, oh yeah, I remember that one, I love it. While in Diet Oshikon, there were so fucking many where I just sit there like, damn, I like this one. For example, Green Barley Road. <laughs> also, like, Ebb and Flow as a fucking. I think Ebb and Flow was one of the endings, and I like. Ebb and Flow, because Ebb and Flow d fits with the actual, like, music going on. Because, like, whenever I hear this, I, like, find myself, like, just... Just go, like, leaning back and forth. Just, like, like, like an Ebb and Flow. It's just, it's just kind of in the music. And I think that's kind of neat. え今日はずっとミヤの調子がおかしいようだけど心当たりはあるいや。She asks me to make sure but for a moment of the nod. Yeah, you don't. Besides, I'll call for you if I need your help. Fina 100% has... It, 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 like, has figured out what the fuck's going on before either of them have. Fina turns around and returns to her room alone. If this was like any other day, she would have Mia go with her and groom her hair. I suppose she's being considerate. I didn't think about it earlier, so I tried thinking about what will happen from now on. Fina will return to the moon, and Mia will go with her. That's only the basics. However, I want to be with Mia. Can I go to the, to the moon together with Fina? No. That'll be difficult, I'm sure. If I had to say it clearly, it's impossible. I might be able to study abroad someday like Nason did. However, a mere student like me is, uh... It'll be impossible if I can't at least enter Mitsurugasaki University. 
Thinking about my future is pointless. Neil will be returning to the moon soon. It's so because Ness son pats me on the head. I've patted Maya on the head many times already. An indescribable feeling swells up every time I do. Mia, who was the one being pet, almost look, always looks happy too. I've seen various forms of Mia's persistence. She tries her utmost in that tiny body of hers. Going shopping, for example. There'll be a lot of bags well, since she buys ingredients for five peoples. people. Mia tries her best to carry them alone. She staggers around the shopping district. I want to help her. It's natural for me to want to support her. I think I should carry heavy bags for her as a guy. I also feel guilty for having her play a major part in the in housework. She's a guest who came over for a homestay. Over F Mia is Fina's maid. She's a royal maid, and I'm sure it's quite an amazing p position. She's from an upstanding lineage, has served many years, and is relied on by nobles. Like her job isn't something so casual that she can cast it aside and abandon it that easily. It's also possible that responsibility for Mia lies on Fina. At the very least, Mia's mother's position in the Lunar Royal Palace will cer certainly worsen. Most importantly, Mia seems to be very happy being Fina's maid. Mia respects Fina. She adores her. She's always saying her highness, her highness, etc. She was the only attended Fina chose for her trip to Earth. No matter what happens, Mia would place precedence on Fina over herself. The happiness she feels when someone approves of her work is the highest when she's praised by Fina, after all. Fina will go back to the moon. If that ha uh, if, when that, when it happens, I tell Mia I want you to stay behind with me. She'll probably reply with that's impossible. However, Mia hasn't given me her answer yet. Not replying immediately means Mia might be in love with me. And if I also love Mia, then... The inside of my room is bright when I snap out of it. It wasn't the sunlight, but the light from the fluorescent lamp. It's been a while since I fell asleep without turning off the light. I often shocked my mom by doing this when I was a kid. I haven't recovered from my fatigue very well. Last night I was thinking about Mia. Mia was on my mind the whole time after I came back from that walk. I wonder if she's feeling better today. Good morning. Oh, hiya, Onita. Huh? It's just you, Mai. Mm. Take a look at the clock, and it certainly is early. What am I in a rush for? Nessa and Fina wake up after that. Mia, who was always the second one to wake up during the day, hasn't arrived at the table yet. Ohayou Wow, it seems like she actually fucking dressed before she drank her green tea. Oh, I'll make the tea. Prepare a Nessun's bit of tea. Arigato, it's the usual morning. Ask Fina something casually. Fina? Some of Mia. Kinoa,随分遅くまで部屋で起きていたみたいよ。今朝はそっとしておきましょう。I see. You didn't show up for breakfast. It's my fault if she's worried. I fire myself up to do Mia's share of the chores. However, she shows up by tumbling down the stairs at a big rush just before noon. Morning, Mia. She had an appointment with someone at the embassy, so Cotton came to pick her up. Mia was intent on apologizing and started on her late breakfast after getting, uh, going back to change. Nezan had headed out for work. Mai also left for club activities, leaving me alone with Mia. <laughs> You don't have to be so formal. <laughs> you 
He takes deep takes a deep breath. Wait for Mia's next words with excitement. In the end. She doesn't understand? What does this mean? I'm not sure how I should react. Look at Mia and see that she's still trying to work out what to say next, so I wait. Really? Oh! Thank goodness. My entire body feels exhausted. Let out all the air stuck in my lungs at once. Mia looks crestfallen. Place my hand on her head and gently pet her. I also thought about that yesterday. Judge of the prince is more than anything. That's why I was worried well whether what I said yesterday was bothering you. And you also slept you also slept in today. No, it's fine. I kind of am rushing things. I tried hard to clean and do the laundry because I thought it was my fault. I'm not so skilled at it anymore, though, since you've been doing it for a while. Yeah, you're an eighth done and doing laundry. Nah, master at doing laundry. Me? I'm a. Uh, uh, still just a white belt. Yeah, it means I'm a beginner. Beginners in martial arts wear a white belt. Mia finally got her smile back. I waste time by weeding the grass in the garden while Mia does the housework. It was around when the sun was setting and after we ate lunch. They called out to Mia after daringly taking in the, do the laundry. Mia? Hi! Wanna go on a walk with the, with the Italians? Wanna go before I head to work at Salmon's. Mia ponders for a moment then answers. <laughs> Let's get ready then. What? Did you catch on to the atmosphere? Pepperoncino's rejoicing. Huh? You aren't changing today? But it'll be hot in that outfit. Has long sleeves and it and it's black. So yeah, it tells me about the fabric air perm. Permeability and a bunch of other things in regards to the outfit. Mia's dress is also unusually good in design, though it's Must work hard not to let anyone see you sweat either. That's also important, isn't it? It was meant to be a joke, but you respond seriously. Mia yeah, is holding onto the Italian's leash today. They pull on her obediently. So I thought, but uh, it was only when we were in town. The Italians suddenly become energetic once we enter the park. <laughs> Here, Mia. I grab onto Mia's hand. And I took hold of Pepperoncino's leash. She was particularly strong and curious about everything. <laughs> Rather than apologizing, thank me. Thank <laughs> you. Molding onto Mia's hand and a hand along with ca uh, uh, Carbonara and Pepperoncino's leash. Uh. 
Mamma Mia's hand is sweating a little. So then the hand and her thin fingers. There's no wind. Only the cries of this cave has befall us. Mia, you just like holding my hand? Oh, here! Yeah. So na koto nai desu. Then let's stay like this. Hi. He responds firmly, though in a low voice. Grip Mia's hand lightly again. His hand is sweating more than before. Mine isn't any different. The Italians must have caught onto the atmosphere as they were just standing there. Come on, let's go. We're heading to, to the top of the hill today. <laughs> the three dogs start to pull on us again. His hand is very soft and small and warm. I think you can feel a pulse. I want to show everyone that figure of us holding hands together, but in the end, I want to keep it to ourselves. I'm getting really excited about the Sarnai. As a result, we arrive at the top of the hill in the blink of an eye. Sometimes you can see a lot of people down there. That's why I come up here to let the dogs loose. I suppose we should let go. It's not just me. Me is gripping my hand, too. A little reluctant to let go, though. Let's release uh, three of them. Three dogs go out running once they're set free. They frolic and chase each other. Me and I stare absentmindedly at them having fun. Hey, Mia. Dogs sure are carefree. Uh -huh. They eat when they're hungry and sleep when they're tired. They're honest when it comes to their own desires. Uh -huh. Humans have a part because of all the things they want to do and things they think would be nice. They can't outright say what, that they want them. But... Well, I'm not sure since I'm not a dog, but maybe dogs have their own strict society. <laughs> so this me. Can't help but be envious of dogs. So this me. There we go. Sit on the grass. Honestly, I don't know what I should what you should do. Fina really treasures you and you have your position as a royal maid. <sighs> Mia listens carefully in silence. However, it's a matter of wanting to be together with you. Though it's just my own selfishness, it's getting bigger and bigger. Example, holding your hand just now. Hi. Me and I stare at each other's hands. Yeah. Get up from the grass and take Mia's hand. Her nails are white and carefully, clip carefully clip clipped. What the fuck? Her wrist seems like it break if I grip it too tightly. I lightly grip her hand and Mia holds mine back. Say. もし、わがままだったとしても、その気持ちは、達也さん一人が思ってるものではありません。Mia looks up at me. Her eyes are slightly moist. Mia. Tatsuya-san. Wow! Pepperoncino arrives before he realizes. Wow! 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 Carbonara meets up with her and they run off into the distance again. Ano... <laughs> What awkward timing. His mother had to pet Mia's head. <sighs> Mia blushes and looks down. Ah, oh, man, you're so cute, Mia. <laughs> Lean in a little and bring, uh, bring my arms around Mia's hips and lift her up. <laughs> Spin her around. Mia's light. Figured she might be light, but I didn't expect her to be that light. I breathe in the smell of Mia's sun-scented outfit. <laughs> Her eyes are starting to get dizzy, so I put Mia down on the ground. My eyes are st still spinning a little. <laughs> you sure are light, Mia. <laughs> Mia totters. I hold on to both her shoulders in case she falls over. <laughs> Focus on Mia's shoulders in front of me. Mia's staring straight into my eyes. And then, Mia slowly closes her eyelids lids, and I kiss her gently. Damn! 
Treffen. <lacht> Still need to actually make the thumbnails for part 22. <laughs> it was only a light kiss. Put a little more strength into my arms around Mia's hips. <sighs> Mia's breathing hits my cheeks. Her tiny lips are hot with passion. Her hands, her hands against my chest grip my clothes. Her bangs flutter in the wind, tickling me. My mind is filled with thoughts of Mia. It goes blank soon after. I open my eyes slightly and steal a glance at Mia. Her cheeks are red. Her eyelashes from her closed eyes tremble up and down little by little. Slowly lose my arms from around her hips. Try to separate our lips. But when I do, Mia keeps pushing her lips against mine as if she doesn't want to separate. It stands at her tiptoes to make up for me not leaning in too much. Embrace Mia in response to her feelings. Mia stops stretching soon after, and I lose my arms. Her lips are the last to separate. As if they're, we're reluctant to part. Down the hill is just like fucking like someone from the main cast like looking up there like oh no fucking walk like Wow Impressive <laughs> Yep I say. You should get going, son. Hi. His cheeks remain red for a while. Did your talents catch on to the atmosphere? I attach their leash as, as they gather around us. The talent is also calmed down as Mia takes the leash bashfully because of her feelings that transmitted down the cord. Mia blushes many times when looking at me even after I return home from work that day. She seems to be smiling even when I'm not there. Tatsuya? Hmm? Mia ni nani ko shita? Watashi ga kaette kite kara zutto niko niko shita ri. Tame eki tsuita ri shiteiru no da kedo? Ah! Ah! Well! Nothing in particular. Hmm? I think Fina's noticed. It's obvious that Mia's, not, Mia's trying to avoid looking at my face inside the house. She. She turns bright red and lowers her gaze, even when we're in front of everybody else. I'm sure that Neza and Mia could tell this was unusual all evening. I gave up on trying to hide it. <laughs> Salmon's is closed today. Our conversation turns to food that'll give us energy since the temperature outside is continues to be above 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know why. Are the Marians good with heat? Which is unusual, Nesanez. Like fish, but not? It's All I remember is the fucking like cooking mama game where you can actually make some with the eel and the first thing you have to do is actually like pin down the eel and it's just like ah oh, yes it's lying on the fucking thing it's like just doop. <laughs> I 
And then because of the dunk, I just remembered the like uh, how to ki uh, how to uh, use uh, how to surf squid it is like uh, you just slow it down, and then suddenly it just wow, just dead. It's dead, just like that. <laughs> That's what the conversation was about during breakfast. My head for the club activities and Nessa and Fina went to work. Mia acted quite normal when she was with everyone else. And when it's just me, me what when it's just us, Mia tests us up. Shall we grill it if we're cooking eels? <laughs> She's frozen solid. Don't be that stiff, Mia. <laughs> Try petting Mia's head. <laughs> Mia lets out a bewitching cry. It'll make me nervous too if you're that tense. <laughs> and I notice that we're alone. And that we're calling the scene on top of the hill yesterday. All the more if Mia is tense. What will we do about shopping then? But I have time today. I'll help out. It'll be like how it usually is. What about during the day? That sounds nice. I my share of the chores and eat the chilled ramen. The chilled ramen with sesame sauce that Mia made was really good. The Wantons, she included, made it an original, too. I head, I head down to the first floor once evening approaches to accompany Mia with her shopping. Looks like Mia just... just uh, it looks like Mia just finished reading a cookbook. Have you decided? Tsumabushi? That's grilled eel, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. Good girl. I pet Mia's head. We go shopping after that. Mia looks a little stiff still, but she quickly returns back to normal. Well, we have. せっかくですから、砂漠のにも挑戦してみたいと思います。やるね、ミヤちゃん。じゃ、この生きのいいのにしとくからね。ありがとうございます。The green grower Shigeza shows up then. Nothing much. だよ、するところが絵人だよな。そうだ。うちでニンニクでも買ってくか。ひつまぶしにニンニクは使いませんから。おお、ひつまぶしか。じゃあ、三つ葉かオーバーとネギか、スワタリを買い上げだな。もし
I place my hands on Mia's shoulder. She blushes in a panic. Mia, do you not like what we did yesterday? You think? Calm down, Mia. You take it slow. Mia takes a few breaths. たつやさんと触れ合ってるのが嬉しくて気持ちよくって離れたくないと思ってたんですでもはい。でも you started to fidget. So this. Sure, sure, cute Mia. Pet Mia's head again. Each of Mia's words is full of love. <laughs> She did not just fidget, is was my was what my guess is. I guess nervous nervous fidgeting can also be like fiddling with something nervously, you know? Like fiddling with a button, fiddling with like your fucking pants waistband. So then she probably filled with herself. Again, embrace me if I put a little more strength into it. Her height is low. She's still right into my chest if I do embrace her. Me is frantically thinking about what happened yesterday. Stop rubbing her head. I love you. <laughs> I really love you, Mia. <laughs> Mia goes bright red. Lift her bangs up with my hand and kiss her forehead. <laughs> Mia's head spins even more. Do your best at cooking, Mia. I'll be walking the Italians. I suddenly feel embarrassed after the things I said. And run away by leaving the, to walk the Italians. Flee! Mia fidgeted and stiffened up again yesterday night. But still, I'm happy I conveyed my feelings to her. Though I feel like I conveyed it in a one-sided manner. But I think it's uh, best to give me a little more time to think about it. Good morning. <laughs> Mia is still fidgety. But it feels like her eyes are kind of red today. みよ少し目が赤くないかしらあ、あの、昨日の夜少し寝るのが遅かったので夜更かしまさか、お兄ちゃんだ、なーって、たつやさんから借りた本が面白くて、その、みんな、like, <笑> Mia lets out a little sigh. たまには仕方ないけど気をつけないとね、Mia。はい。おはようございます。あ、さやかさん、今お茶を入れますね。I think there was nearly a huge misunderstanding just now. Let out a sigh of relief for the time being. Mia hasn't slept much, huh? But she said I lent her a book. I remember lending her a book. Ding ding! Hey, I've barely fucking seen you this row. Only like two instances. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're right. Natsuki clamps my back. Weird. Don't work like I always do, though. Hmm. だ、あつな。あるよ、達也君。今日はずっとおかしかった。病気なんじゃないのかね。あ、ベリーマッチアウト。いや、ほら。お医者様でも治せない病いってのがあるじゃないか。If I will slap your skin off. So, so nano? Ding ding. Konbanwa. Ah, kyo mo oisso na kaori. Ojama shimasu ne. Konbanwa. Mia enters a little late by herself. She doesn't look my way either. Ooh. What is that or just for just now, Jen? Ho ho. Okay, shut the fuck up, Kiryu. <laughs> ho ho. <laughs> you too, Natsuki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck did I. <laughs> Four drops just like jump out of the fucking bottle there. Sabot the night, eh? Hayak, that's day. This. Do the return to the kitchen while leaving us in an extremely uncomfortable situation. In a situation like this, even if I do some, the people around me will figure it out on their own. I guess it's nice that I don't have to do anything to get them to work it out, but uh, it's not really satisfying like that. Everyone takes a bath when we get back from summons. I've been taking nothing. I've been taking nothing but showers recently, so it's been a while since I've dipped in the tub. Drained the water and turned on the ventilation for fan Nesson. Arigato. Nesson says that while staring at the documents she brought home with her. Don't overwork yourself. So ne. I hand Nesson a cup of tea. I'm going to bed then. Good night, Nesson. Mm. Oyasumi nasai. <sighs> Let out a deep sigh. I look around my room. There's a white envelope placed on top of my desk. What is this? Inside the envelope. There's a letter from Mia. Try opening the ladder. Letter. My pulse quickens. I haven't unfolded it yet. I can read the letters inside if I do. Slightly transparent ink on the other side of the paper is visible. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Am I a teenager going through puberty or something? I mock myself about over how unexpectedly excited I was. I open the letter. Dear Tatsuya, can you come to the attic once you read this letter? Mia. I read it all at once and feel relieved that there is nothing bad in there. I read it again to confirm the details. Then I leave my room at once. I knock lightly. Are you still awake, Mia? It's pretty late. I might wake someone up if I make a loud noise. Maybe I should knock a little harder. Just when I think that... Tatsuya-san! Please! It's the first, this is the first time I've been in the attic this late at night. Oh yeah, how's Chico been doing recently? <laughs> I see. So about that letter? <sighs> Mia suddenly freezes up. She even straightens herself out. Uh, <laughs> Answer being Voice just about vanishes. Oh. All right. Time has finally come for me to hear Mia's reply. Mia looks flushed. She's looking downward. You can almost imagine smoke coming out of her head. She 
Each man he speaks, word by word. And his words burn me from head to foot. But then you also. Nia stares at my face. What? What does that mean? Mia lowers her head again after saying that. Mia tries her hardest to convey to me how she felt. That figure of her desperately trying to put her words and feelings into words with a flushed face makes me want to embrace her. Do you like someone else, Mia? Mia was her hands in denial. She's never fallen in love before, so she doesn't know uh, if she's uh, if she's feeling it or not. That's what it seems like. I say. Mia peeks at me with upturned eyes. It's an extremely innocent worry. However, it's a huge problem for Mia right now. Probably can't laugh at her since I'm her senior. No, it's not. Everybody worries about that at some point, Mia. Yeah. That's why in order to have Mia understand her own feelings, I want to unravel her piece by piece. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, though. But I do love Mia. I want Leah to love Mia to love me in the same way. I might just want proof right now. It's an ambiguous, visible proof. Still. Although there are many unforeseen problems to remain ahead, I want some kind of reply. I... When you were gone from the house for a while, and went with Fina for official business, I was really lonely. <gasps> Thought I shouldn't be thinking about how lonely I am. But in the end, I couldn't settle down when you weren't there. Every minute, every second, felt extremely drawn out. No matter how hard, how, no matter how I tried to occupy myself, whether it be watching TV or being with someone else, my consciousness was constantly trying to look for signs of Mia. Each time I looked at the mountain of folded towels in the bathroom, each time I looked at the bottle of jam inside the refrigerator, each time someone brought up Mia in our conversation, my heart felt down whenever the reality of how Mia wasn't there hit me. This awakening of love is a little different from a crazy, intense feeling. My heart is satisfied just being by, uh, just by her being there. I'm able to sustain my tranquility just knowing that she's nearby. I don't feel that way about my friends or f and family members. What about you, Mia? When we have to separate, how will you feel? This might be a cruel question in many ways. As I thought, Mia looks like she's having a hard time coming up with an answer. Yes, it's a crude question, but in, in essence, it's like a similar thing to what I say. Like, you want to figure out if you love someone? Okay, there you go. Uh, imagine yourself in a few years married to the, happily married to the person with kids. Do you feel happy? Do you feel excited? Okay, uh, now imagine that same future, but instead of you being with them, someone else is with them. Does it hurt? It does? Congratulations, you like them. It's something similar to that. I don't why. No, I'm sorry. Your job is the least of your worries. That was that moment with Chico, too. I'm sure she couldn't help but worry about Chico when she was a chick. I remember Mia asking how Chico was doing the moment she returned. <sighs> Mia stares at me with a sincere look. What's wrong? あなたは小鳥と達也のことばかり話すのね。と。わ、私は自分では全くそのようなつもりはなくて。でも姫様に言われて 
確かにそうかもしれないと思い始めて Mia casts her eyes down Is it okay to think that she feels the same way as me? Like she's unconsciously gathered the warmth and presence of others Believe that her feelings have grown stronger How do you feel when you think about me? Mia lifts her head up when I ask that とても幸せな気持ちになります心が喜んでいるのがとてもよくわかります Mia says each word thoroughly ですが心が嬉しくなった後は決まって少し痛くなります時には痛みの方が強くなることもあってその度にわからなくなるんですこれが好きという気持ちなのですかミエザイストラムだとしたらどうして痛みが伴うのでしょう Can't think of a way to answer that Take Mia's hand instead It's probably I think your heart probably hurts because you feel nervous Yeah Just because you love someone doesn't mean they feel the same way Even if they do feel the same way It's guaranteed that they'll keep feeling that way forever. And if they do, there's the question of whether you'll always be together with them. Nobody knows. That's why. I believe that's why we want to touch each other like this. Grasp her hand and squeeze it. The more I love her, the more nervous I become. The fact that she's, she'll make that important decision makes me anxious. But I seek Mia despite that. Mia is the one who can ease my worries. It's probably very selfish of me. Do you, want to jo do you enjoy the time you spend with me, Mia? Hi, Mochiron de Se! Respond with a serious look. How about when we kiss? Oh, I'm so happy. It makes me very happy when I kiss you, too. Tatsuya san. Mia's face flushes. Gently reach my hand out to her cheek. <laughs> Mia moves back a little. The soft warmth on my fingertips. How about this? Yes. Yes. Mine too. You think that? What you're feeling right now is love. Mia stares at me with pained eyes. Look at her affectionately. Mia closes her eyes as if she's confirming the emotions inside her. The moment she opens them again, her face is as clear as the summer skies. I like it. I like Tatsuya's things. I like it. Mia speaks as if declaring it. I can tell that her heart is overflowing with vibrant emotions. Thank you, Mia. Then tears appear from the corner of her eye. Love, think about the meaning of the word just now. The emotions I feel aren't just happy, they're a little painful too. However, I want to be immersed in happiness right now. I want to tell this person who told me she loved me with a straight face. Me too. I love you too, Mia. Hi. I can't help but love you. Is it okay if I show you? <laughs> Take Mia by surprise and kiss her. <laughs> I tell that Mia stopped breathing, put her hand towards me and embrace her slender body. Don't need to stop breathing. I whisper in her ear once her lips separate. <laughs> I fill up her lips again as she tries to say something. Her shoulders tremble and feel Mia's nervousness. Her nervousness spreads through me and my mind goes blank. Her lips separate and we look at each other. Current situation finally hits me. My hand is shaking. Can't believe I've fallen this much for her. I hurt my eyes without thinking. My lips are damp after a kiss and it makes my chest ache. There are plenty of things I want to whisper to her, but there's nothing more that I can put into words. Because no matter what I say, they can't catch up to this emotion. 
Simply embrace the kiss many times over. In the stillness through the silent night, in a way that nobody would notice, by concealing our breath. And they probably fucked. I was with Mia the entire time that night. We didn't need to say anything. Simply cuddling each other was enough. We huddled up in one futon and sometimes stared at the moonlight coming through the skylight. Eventually my eyes started drooping and Mia fell into a deep sleep before I noticed. Then it was morning. Me and I were are woken up by Chico's chirping. Uh, morning. Oh, hello. Mia has an expression on her face like she can't quite work out why I'm here. She covers her face with both hands. She seems embarrassed about being seen just after she woke up. I've already seen plenty of your sleepy face if you're worried about that. Keep a tight lid on my laughter as I pet Mia's head. <laughs> then a smile appears on her face soon after. It's a defenseless, trusting expression. Truth is, I want to remain here forever. But it's almost time for the others to wake up. I'm going back to my room for the time being. Uh, so me. Kiss. Mia's body tenses up when I give her a small kiss. However, she soon responds by raising her chin. I'm going then. Hi. <laughs> Head down to the second floor while wondering what to be careful of. Quietly. Silently. Not making a sound. Ness and Amai are still asleep. There's no sign of anyone from the first floor either. Tiptoe my way towards my room. Oh. Still time until breakfast. I can't fall asleep again. I eat breakfast of everyone as usual. However, a part of me feels restless. I make an effort to frown in a way nobody would work out. Mia is staring curiously at my face. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone heads out after breakfast, leaving me with Mia again. Mart starts to feel light at the thought of being alone with her. Hey, Mia. Is that a sneeze? Oh, hope it's not a cold or anything. He seems to be thinking about something. Have you done anything to cause a fever, a cough, or a cold? Yeah, I've haven't you? You won't know unless you tell me. So it's my fault. I have no excuse for this. I'm sorry. I've got it! I'll do the cleaning, laundry, cooking, and shopping today. You should sleep for a while to get your clothes under control. It's viable that you rest, come on. Put Mia to bed after using a little force. Right? Mia gets settled into her bed after changing into her pajamas. Just call me if there's anything you want to eat or drink. I'll bring it right away. Hmm, that's true, I suppose. I'll bring you something that's easy to digest and will make you feel better for lunch. Go ahead and fall asleep. Just stay put. I'll take a temperature to see if you have a fever. I suppose we'll need a wet towel if you have one. You alright? <laughs> Mia smiles. I don't know why, but when then Mia explains. そんなに昔ではありませんが、まだ私が小さい頃、母様にこうして看病してもらったのを思い出しました。
先代の女王セフィリア様の看病をしていたこともあるんですよ。セフィリア様とセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時セフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフィリア様は、当時のセフ Nursing you like your mother might be beyond me, but I'll do what I can. So hurry up and get better. I like to pat Mia's belly. Hi! Mia seems happy for some reason. Fortunately, she didn't have a fever. I do the laundry and cleaning throughout the morning and attempt to make a healthy lunch with leftover ingredients remaining in the house.、I'll、take a look inside the fridge and see onions, eggs, and a pork roast. Seasoning, too. When it comes to things still cure colds,、so、I suppose I'll use ginger. Make ginger onion soup with guidance from Mia's cookbook. I use chicken pieces as a base and complete it with plenty of white onions and ginger. I'm sure luxury ginger and hot water will be effective against colds. I make pork and edge, egg porridge. I like to stir, fried,、uh, stir fry the eggs with small pieces of onions and finely minced pork. Add in ginger and soy sauce, salt and pepper for flavor while it's still soft and stir it with the piping hot porridge.、Uh, the piping hot porridge. It's been a while since I've cooked, but it turned out well if I do so on myself. Steam rises along with the meal, stirring up my appetite. Place dishes on a tray after that and climb the stairs to the attic in a hurry. How are you feeling, Mia? Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Do you have an appetite for lunch? Then let me raise you up a little. Put my hand behind me and try to raise her body up. Your sneezing hasn't stopped yet. I'll leave it on the desk then. I'll go make tea now. Tatsuya san, jitto mirare te ると tabe ni kui desu yo. I see. I'll bring my own chair then and we can eat here together. We eat the ginger onion soup and the porridge together. Tatsuya san, o r i o r i j o s u desu yo. Well, I did have. I have to take turns cooking with Mai before you came here. So that done this guy. I'm able to relax quite a bit now thanks to you. I'm worried my skills might have dulled though. Yeah, to the more she does. Got so some of this time. That was great. I'm sure you get better soon if you can eat this much. <laughs> so that to eat this me. I'll go take the plates down then. That's your son. He stares at me with a set look that says she wants to say something. What's the matter? I know. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Need, I can't predict what will happen, what will become of our relationship. It's probably because I haven't thought about it seriously. Venus study abroad will finish at the end of this month. Think about it normally. Fia being Mia's,、uh, Mia being Fina's maid attendant will go back with her. However, Mia and I fell in love. For the time being, the only thing we can do is tell Fina the truth. There's no way the current situation can change for the better by hiding it. Besides, the first person we have to tell before anybody else is Fina, isn't it? Tatsuya san no oshiyaru koto wa, sono tori da to omoimas. Watashi mo, dekireba watashi tachi no kankei ni tsuite, hime sama ni iwatte itadakitai desu shi. Demo, but, watashi tachi no kankei wa, yuru shite moraero de shou ka. I don't know whether our relationship will be approved of or not. Or what getting approval will involve. I mean, his job is important, and Fina holds power. I don't know much of anything else. 
Honestly, I don't know either. But would everything start once we talk to Fina? I can tell our future will be full of difficulties when I look at me as act how at how me is acting. Generally speaking, I've never heard of a relationship between a Lunarian and an Earthling. I have. Well, th three times at this point, technically. Like if we're going off of real technicalities, since you know. I was more talking about, like, uh, I've heard of it because uh, Frisia is a thing, still. But then again, there's also him with Fina. Him with Frisia, technically. And the fourth one is now him with Mia. I don't know if Wreath counts, though, so still, since I still have the theory that she's some kind of weird god being. <laughs> The atmosphere drifts around us. This isn't good. I'm sure we can manage something, though, Mia. I'll try to do something about it. I have to try something since it won't work out at uh, since it won't work out at this rate. Hi. I'll think about a good way to go about this. We should hurry up and get better at for the time being. We'll start from there. Anyway, stay put and rest until the evening. Can get up if you feel well after that. Hi, Tetsuya san. Back into bed then. Place me in bed again and pat her head. Yeah, I got up around the evening. I had her for salmons once I made sure she was okay. Once then time came, Mia, yeah, who had made a full recovery, showed up with Fina Ma and Mai at salmons. I felt relieved when I saw Mia scarfing down food as usual. Scarfing her food down as usual. Now then, hi Fina, uh, I'm fucking your maid. <laughs> Imagine if you actually walked up to her like that. Uh, hey Fina, I'm fucking your attendant. Uh, good morning. It's the usual breakfast scene. Mia's prepar preparing breakfast with Amai. Preparing Nesan's tea. Mia chan, kyo wa watashi to Fina sama no bun. Ban gohan wa iranaku naru to omou no. Ah, o futari de o shigoto desu ka? Eh.今日は博物館で歓迎レセプションよ。せっかく館長がいらっしゃってるんですものね。あ、せいな。ディレクター。ディレクター。ディレクター。ディレクターズンフィナ。うん。え。ウォルト。タツヤ君には話してなかったかし
ろそろ乾いてると思うので洗濯物を取り込んで畳むところまでお願いできますか No sweat. Take half of Mia's jobs after that. With the two of us working, we finish up the chores at a fast pace. We also finish shopping for dinner ingredients before the sky turns red. Oh, the bags were heavy today. I lie down on the sofa. No, it's fine. It was a good time for you to buy heavy things since I was there. You're continuing to rely on me. Hmm? Mia sits down on the sofa too. Mia sits right beside,、uh, beside my head. She lifts my head with both hands and slides it on top of her thighs. It's warm. That is what is commonly called a lap pillow. It takes a moment for me to comprehend something so simple. Oh, he's like laying face first. <laughs> he's doing the Kazuma strat. <laughs> sure. The body heat I can feel from her, my cheek、yeah. to around my neck excites me, so I reply without thinking too much about it. I can feel the shape of Mia's legs across her skirt. I'm wrapped in a somewhat relieving fragrance. That's it, Tatsuya san. Right. The earbud goes into my outer ear. I'm a little nervous.、Mm -hmm. uh, no. It's been a long time since I've, since I've had someone clean up my ears. It's a weird feeling. Let's see now. Me always cleans Fina's ears. <laughs> That's an honor. Please be gentle. Hi, Tetsuya san. Neither me nor I speak a word while she cleans my ear in silence. I'm just lying there. There's no guarantee my eardrums will be safe if I surprise Mia by touching her thighs. Hi, Gochira Gawa, what is this? That's pretty to the m a s t e I say. This is slightly awkward. I wonder if she's piled up my earwax somewhere. I decide me a clean feels fluffy, like some dust has been removed. Ah,、uh, this fluffy feeling is nice. Bon ten, te yun d e s y o Kono fua fua. She cleans from deep in and gradually works her way out, and finally goes to my earlobe. Mia lightly blows into my ear. My neck is a little restless. それでは反対側を The other side. She turns my head 180 degrees. Her face is buried around the base of Mia's legs and her abdomen. It's kind of hard to breathe. 当たり前ですよ But yeah. I think this position is kind of strange. もう、達也さんってば。<laughs> Mia changes place with me with a smile. Maya returns during the evening. The three of us finish dinner and we relax. Then Fina comes home with Ness on earlier than expected. Tadaima! Tadaima, I'm sorry. 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 Nessun smiles warmly. Sayaka-no-mote-nashi-wa-sasu-ga-ne-yobare-ru-ho-no-kimochi-made-shikkari-kangae-ru-no-wa-muzukashi-no-yo-fina-sama-ho-me-sugi-desu-i-e-so-na
with talking with two Fina. Uh, how many times have we hesitated in front of her, her door now? In front of her door now. Try to knock, but then lower my hand. Right. Take a deep breath and knock on the door to Fina's room. There's no response. The light is on. Did you go to bed without turning off the light? Let's try once more. Me a nods. Uh, we have something to tell you. Do you have a moment? Yes. Since the two of them were listening to classical music, I'm sure Mai is letting her browse some, borrow some since she's in the window orchestra club. But still, I didn't think Mai would be here. Look at Mia with the intent of asking what should I do. Mia shrugs her shoulders and looks at me with an expression that says, there's no choice. I'm sure everyone around us will soon find out after we talk to Fina. If they'll find out later, if they'll find out later then it doesn't matter if they'll find out now. Well, uh, that is to say... I have to tell him here. It's like I have to tell them no matter what. I'm ready myself. Um, I... I'm... Going out with with Mia. Right, Mia? Hi. Mia fidgets and looks, ar fidgets and looks around. あら、やっと言ってくれる気になったのね、ミヤ。え、今様気づいてらっしゃったんですか？少しだけね。でもよかったわね、ミヤ。Fina gives Mia's shoulders a pat. はい、ありがとうございます。Mia gives a bow. マイは気づいていた？ なんとなくもしかしたらってくらいかな。でもミヤが立つやと。Fina nods repeatedly. Seems like the two of them are still taking it. とりあえず私からは二人におめでとうと言わせて。立也さん、私のミヤに不誠実なことはしないでね。Fina says that as in a joking manner. It's just that I have no composure to take that as a joke. Of course. Reply in a slightly forceful tone. Yeah. It appears that Mai is starting to give her heart out to me and I. It won't be an easy path, but I'll do my best. Feels like I'm being encouraged. Now on to the next topic. How the fuck do I go to the moon? I started to help out, help Mia out with the chores on a daily basis. However, both Mai and Nesan were here today, so my turn didn't come up. Which means it's been a while, so I'll take the Italians to Monomi Hill Park. Normally, I'd bring them around the riverbank, then turn around for home. Of course, that'll make them happy, but they're the happiest when they're let loose. Good girls, wait just a little longer. The Italians are really pleased when they see me preparing to take them on a walk. Once my preparations are finished, and I turn to head out. <laughs> Mia comes tumbling out of the doorway, putting on each of her shoes in a hurry. She seems a little out of breath, but her expression is overflowing with happiness. Mai did? <laughs> Mai, I wonder if she's taking us into consideration. What an indirect sister I have. Indirect, literally, since that's not blood related. Ha <laughs> ha That doesn't make it better. I'll have to give her our thanks in secret later. Looks like Fina went out today, too. Everybody seems to be busy for her. How noble of her. Fina's sense of responsibility really is admirable. Is it okay if you don't go with her? 
confirm that there aren't any people around, and then release the Italians. <laughs> release the hounds. <laughs> Three dogs frolic around, and they run up and down the hill. They play about and release all of their energy at once. And I climb up the stairs a little, and we sit down under a tree. Yes, sits beside me, clinging close. She rests her head on my shoulders. The day's temperature is high, but the warmth is refreshing due to low, due to low humidity. The breeze carrying the scent of the grass tickles my nose. Mia? Yeah. Hi! I want to hear about what you did on the moon. Like when you first met Fina. <sighs> yeah, it looks like she's running down memory lane. That is adorable. Right. Right. How long ago was this? So this is ね、確か。6年 So you guys were always together from then on. Eh? Sono koro, Hime sama ni wa a mari toshi ga chikai go yu jin ga irashara na kute. What about some daughter of a noble? Kodomo desu kara, so so o suru koto mo aru de shou ga, sore o oya ga osorete. Nano de, sore made wa zutto ka sama ga asobi aite o shite ita sou desu. Mo chiron, nagai ben kyo jikan no ai ma dake desu kedo ne. That Fina was she's the daughter of the royal family. Can't imagine how tough that must have been. But you were with Fina the whole time after that, right? Yeah. Kosukinababatomakakuraibetodevatsuishonita. I'm sure being by Fina's side is a natural thing for Mia. It's also the same thing, the same for Fina. These two have been like this for a long time. Is there room for me to step in? Have you spoken with Queen Sophia before? Hi. Amari oku ari masen ga nanda ka. She's firm and reform. She's firm and reformed a lot of things. I have to say, she gives off the impression of being a strict impression of being a strict person. Even her portrait on the money on the money lunarians use gives off a smart look. I compile the information I've learned from introductions to selenology. So na koto nai desu yo. Watashi ga oai shite o hanashi shita kagiri de wa totemo yasashii kata deshita. Oh really? Amari nagai jikan hime sama to issu ni irare nai koto. That's quite different from my impression, since I've never seen Queen Sophia's smiling face. とても I see. My impression of Queen Sophia is completely different from what I got from my lessons. Mia, who met her in person, remembers it as an intimate episode. Seems that the impression of knowledge I have only scratches the surface. And that means Queen Sophia personally asked you to take care of Fina. So, I'm going to get you to I'm 
playful cries of the Italians from far away. Tree's shade had moved, so the sun was now shining on us. Good idea. Lamia moved about a meter. When the sun dries, usually. My arms around Mia's shoulder, and she leans against my body. We stay in that position for a while. Neither of us speaks as we feel each other's warmth and pulse. A flickering wind blows past us. It's about time to go back, I guess. I'm sure, the girls have had their fill, fill of the fun too. So, <laughs> let's do it. Arbiata. This time only Arbiata comes back when I call her name. Let's go home. Rabiata obediently lets me put the leash on her. Ano, peperoncino to carbonara ga. This Wednesday, I try to head home with Rabiata. What I do? Did they think I was going to leave them behind? Peperoncino and carbonara come rushing over. See? <laughs> Naruhodo. I attach leashes to the other two dogs and they settle into their usual formation. <laughs> Is your mother still in the royal palace? Yeah. カサマはセフィリア様がお亡くなりになった時にお給からお暇をいただきました。ハーシ。モニフクス意味もあったと思いますが、カサマの場合はお給に勤めていたというよりセフィリア様に仕えていましたから。ドラプライドユート。ミア